Hello guys, today I want to briefly demonstrate you a package called Laravel Forum. So if you need some simple forum on your website, this package can help and we will install that during this video. And the package is actually really old. So if you go to releases and then scroll down to the very, very bottom, the first release of that package was for Laravel 4 back in 2015. But pretty recently, the author Rick released version 5, which works with Laravel 8. So let's install it and let's try it out. To install, as usually, you just need to do compose require forum. I will just use general compose require without any version, and I will do that on the default Laravel page. So I have default website from Laravel, install just Laravel new project. And now in the terminal, I just paste that in compose require, and we have that forum installed. A few more things. We need to publish the vendor. So vendor publish and then we need to choose that package of forum service provider, which is number 10. Okay, cool. Some things are published and we need to migrate the database. I will do migrate fresh because I had something else in that database. So some of those migrations are related to general users table of Laravel and some of them are for the forum. And if we refresh now and go to project test, homepage doesn't change at all, but slash forum should show us the forum. And this is the empty website. It is based on Bootstrap 5 framework, but interestingly enough, you can do whatever you want with your general page. Like it can be on Tailwind or Bootstrap 4 or whatever framework, and that slash form has its own design with Bootstrap 5, but you can actually override it pretty easily. Next form assumes that you have login and register. So if you click login, it will show 404 not found if you don't have that login. So as an experiment, what I did, I've installed Laravel Breeze previously while testing that package. So Composer require Laravel Breeze and Breeze is based on Tailwind, remember? And that forum is based on Bootstrap 5. So how do they work together? Let's try it out by installing artisan breeze install. And then we need to do npm install and npm run dev, which would take a little while. So I will pause this video until that is done. Okay, we have successfully installed Laravel breeze. And if we go to login now, we have a login form. So let's try to register, go to register. So this is a default Laravel homepage with Laravel breeze. We enter something like admin, admin, com or something, whatever. We register and we are in and we are in on the Breeze dashboard. But again, if we go to forum now, we are logged in as an admin user in a forum and we can create a category. For example, create a category, whatever, create. So then you can browse around and manage your posts or threads or categories. Now to make it a bit more clear what that package does, I will use Cedar from that package. Now the drawback of that package is that default Cedar from the documentation doesn't really work. And I had to use the form Cedar to recreate that manually. So if we open that in the PHP storm, and if we search for forum Cedar, it exists inside of the vendor folder. So I had to recreate that as a manual Cedar. So do something like PHP artisan make Cedar forum Cedar, then copy and paste the content of this thing into my own database Cedar forum Cedar. Also there are factories used, so namespaces, playing around namespaces and stuff like that. So copy and paste the namespaces everywhere like this and thread factory here. Now it should work, fingers crossed. Yeah, it did work. And now in our main website, if we go to slash forum, here it is, we have other topics and other threads. So we can go here, for example, and create a new thread, something, something, create. Also, we can reply and stuff like that. So it's a really simple forum based again on Bootstrap 5, the design. But if you go to resources, views, and then vendor, and then forum, all those views are public. So you can change the master blade to not contain the bootstrap five here, or it may be different design, the tailwind, whatever. And then for example, category, 
index blade you can change all the design because it's public in resources views vendor there are quite a lot of things that you can configure so in config there are files like forum.something.php for example there's api within that forum and you can go to forum api and for example change the middleware then there's forum general file with quite a few configuration options and stuff like that for all the other details, read the documentation. Officially on GitHub, it's a short version, but full version is on teamttime.net. It's quite a good documentation with a lot of things covered, but if you find something not working or maybe have some suggestions, then probably use GitHub issues. Let's give some credit to the author. Riari is his nickname, which is actually Rick Mann. Here's his GitHub page. He's from UK, from Rutland, and on his website, it says that it's uh, Rick, a game developer, with also being a full stack web dev. So you can take a look at his other projects, other work, maybe hire him if you wish to, or just get in touch with Rick via this Laravel forum repository and contribute to that as well and make this forum better. Do you know any other alternatives for Laravel forum? Shoot them in the comments and maybe I will make a separate review. This is the simple Laravel forum and this is why I liked it for simplicity. Maybe there are more complicated solutions, so let's discuss in the comments. If you want more reviews and videos like this one, subscribe to the channel because I'm publishing videos daily now at 8 a.m. my own local Lithuanian time or 5 a.m. UTC. So check for new videos every day at that time and see you guys in other videos.